Hello everyone, this is Luxury PL38. Today's video, I would like to showcase my entire iridescent collections. And for my viewers that has been watching me or following me for the past few years, knows that I am really into iridescent and I collect a lot of iridescent handbags, SLG. So I just want to explain to you what the meaning of iridescent in the luxury market at the moment. So before we go into that, let me just explain to you that my collection primarily focus on iridescent handbags with the leather itself but there are some iridescent effects on the hardware and I'm going to show that to you first. The iridescent effects on the hardware are basically oil-based coating and it does show a little bit of the rainbow effects and these are the one that is coated oil-based on the hardware itself on the metal and as you can see that is the Chanel iridescent effects on the metal itself. You can see a little bit of rainbow effects. And I do have the Chanel mini rectangular. So you can see the rainbow effects on the hardware. These are the iridescent on the hardware itself, not on the leather bags, but on the hardware. And it is quite common to find it once in a while with other luxury brands such as Dior, and Chanel and obviously I, Louis Vuitton has done it once or twice and probably Hermes but I'm not too sure if Hermes has done it. It is primarily coated with oil on the hardware itself. And let me just show you the one that Dior does. And that is the chain. So moving on to my iridescent collections, I just want to explain to you the meaning of iridescent. It must showcase a coating effect that will luminous the color and it changes from a different light. There are certain bags that Chanel releases with a very different kind of lighting effects. Those are not considered iridescent, such as this Coco Handle in blue. It does showcase a little bit of green, but that's not because of the iridescent. There is no iridescent coating on this handbag. It is simply the color palette that Chanel uses that changes a little bit. It is in the borderline between green and blue, and that is the reasons why you see the color. It changes a little bit to green, but there is no iridescent coating. As you can see from the ladder itself, there is no extra luminous coating, or you can say metallic coating. But as the video goes on, you will see and you will understand the real meaning of iridescent effect. So let's move on to the iridescent on the ladder itself, because my collections, my iridescent collections, primarily focuses on the iridescent effects of the ladder and I do have quite a lot of them so let's begin with the SLG and I just want to emphasize that Chanel is one of the top luxury brand that does iridescent on the ladder very consistently every year they tend to release in their collections iridescent SLG and handbags with the ladder so I will go through them fairly quickly because I will emphasize on them later on. So this is the 20B collections, the iridescent purple. It does come with iridescent ivory as well, which you will see later on. And this is the Louis Vuitton key clay. And this is from the Stardust collections, iridescent green. And you will see that there is a little bit of blue in it but it does come with other iridescent colors, which I'm going to show you later on. So my focus is on the 21S collections. The 21S Chanel collections comes with the iridescent light beige and iridescent dark beige. And there is also the 21S iridescent pink, which I actually own in the mini rectangular. I have to let that go, but that was one of the best iridescent pink that I've seen. And these are from the 22P collections, early this year, iridescent red and iridescent blue. So let's move on to the iridescent 
handbags collections that I have and these are the iridescent handbags and I just want to emphasize that all of these are in my permanent collections except for one or two that I'm going to explain later on so I'll try to do it according to the timeline and this is from the 17k collections this is my small Gabriel in iridescent purple so you can see this rare combo which is the iridescent leather purple and also the iridescent hardware as you can see it is oil coated and it does have that rainbow hardware effects chanel used to do those combo a few years back but nowadays chanel rarely does the two combos together it, you basically can find either in the leather or the hardware nowadays so I just want to emphasize the 19K collections that I have, and this is the old medium boy bag. I just want to emphasize that this is not a true iridescent because the color doesn't change. However, if you look closely, it does have that shiny coating and it does make it a little bit different. It has that shiny glossy look i'm not sure whether you can consider that iridescent but in my opinion it is not a true iridescent so moving on to my favorite iridescent collections and this is definitely in my permanent collections it is one of my unicorn bag the 19s iridescent pink and this is in the classic medium size so the next one I want to emphasize is the Matthias Diard collections from the 20A collections. This is the mini rectangular reissue and it is in the iridescent rainbow. As you can see, there are a lot of different colors, blue, purple, pink, and green. So this is one of my favorite bags as well. And this is from the 20A collection, the Matthias Diard. The next collection that Chanel does iridescent is the 20B collections and this is the iridescent ivory that I was talking about. I do have the iridescent purple in the mini case and this is the ivory. It is one of the most unique iridescent that I've seen Chanel does because it looks like a seashell. So the camera does not do this justice because the iridescent ivory is one of the best one I've seen. It has that seashell look and if you actually look at it closely you can find a little bit of pinkish moving on to the 20k collections because chanel actually does a lot of iridescent in the 20, 2020 20a 20b and also the 20k collections so this is in the iridescent white or some may call it iridescent ivory this is from the 20k collections and the focus of the 20k collections iridescent it does have a couple of different colors i remember there is the 20k iridescent blue and also the 20k iridescent purple in the cocoa handle that is very very rare it is a unicorn and i was lucky enough to get the white so this is the iridescent white from the 20k collections so the next one is the 21P collections and this is in the iridescent gold. I believe Chanel releases both iridescent silver and gold for the 21P and if you look closely the iridescent just makes this gold sparkles. So it does look like a gold does and it is one of my favorite. I actually listed this on my Instagram account but I decided to keep it simply because it is just a very unique iridescent gold. So before we move into 21k collections that Chanel released, I just want to emphasize the 21s which I have on my SLG the iridescent dark beige and light beige it does come with iridescent pink as well i do own the 21 as iridescent pink and that is in the mini rectangular i decided to let that go but the 21 as pink is one of the best pink i have ever seen in the iridescent the reasons why i decided to let it go because that is in lambskin and it looks very similar 
to this iridescent that I have. This is the 21K collections. This is actually in Carvia. That's why I decided to let that one go and keep this one instead. And this is from the 21K My Perfect Mini. There is another 21K that I purchased and it is the 21K Coco Handle. I think the 21K has so many iridescent colors that it is one of my best. It is one of Chanel's best collections. And this is in the iridescent pink. You can see the hardware. It does have that rainbow effects. Just the double CC. The rest of the hardware is actually in silver hardware. So they're both from 21K collections. And they're both iridescent pink. However, this looks more like a purple on certain lighting. Whereas this has a tinge of light orange. So it does look a little bit pinkish, amberish. It does have a little bit of amber. But they're both from 21K collections. Moving on, I just want to emphasize that Chanel has been very, very consistent with the iridescent ladder. It has actually... Um, surpass a lot of the luxury brands because it consistently releases iridescent leather and it has been very very well received so Louis Vuitton tried to do that as well and this is the 2022 Stardust collections it's one of my favorite Louis Vuitton collections and as you are aware there are three iridescent I believe there are three the iridescent beige and this is in the Speedy 20 and also the iridescent pink. And this is in the Neonoi BB size. And I believe you've seen the iridescent green from the SLG. So those three are from the Stardust collections from Louis Vuitton this year. Finally, the 22P collections, the iridescent green in the classic medium that was out early this year so this is from the 22p collections as you can see i have all three that's the green this is the red and also the blue which kind of looks like a purple so those three are from the 22p collections and i'm going to show you the last few seconds of my iridescent collections once again thank you so much for watching and I'm just going to showcase to you the iridescent collections.